in this lab based on the combinations of encryption, decryption, signing, modification, and digest. Many communication protocols can be designed in this lab. We will carry out two protocols, then compare them. The first one is encrypt, then sign. The second one is sign, then encrypt. We just see these two. The both contains encrypt and sign, but the order they are reversed. So you may find a classmate as your communication partner to complete tasks two and three below collaboratively, but complete uh, task one and four by yourself. So name all the files properly with your first name and your partner's first name. For example, the messages sent from Alice to Bob can be named as message underscore Alice to Bob or simply M A to B. So then you can do this lab by yourself. So you create two uh, mature students. Then you act their roles on your seed washing machine as I am going to demonstrate now. Take one and four, do it by yourself, which means if you act as a two rows, you need to do task one and four twice. Certainly you also need to do task two and three twice. So if you work with a, a classmate, you only need to do each task uh, once. So now I'm going to create a folder to contain all the materials or files we need a generator today. Lab 011, create a folder. Then I need to create two uh, students. One is called Alice. The other one is Bob. Then I need to open them in a new tab. This one is Alice and uh, the other one is uh, Bob. Right, so I close this lab 0 so I have Alice and Bob. Maybe I would like to place uh, Alice on the left side. So they're arranged alphabetically in alphabetical order. Alice, Bob. I have two folders, one for each uh, student. Now let's uh, try these tasks bumper. Task one, create a pair of AC magical kits. This task completes the following uh, steps. Three steps. First, generate a pair of say, private public keys. Protect your private key with a secret password known all to yourself. Then email your public key to your partner. Then create a short message. This message from your name to your partner's name. For example, this uh, message M from Alice to Bob. This is task one. So inside, uh, first I act as uh, Alice. So inside Alice's folder, I need to uh, open a terminal. So this terminal is uh, Alice. To make it uh, clearer, I suggest you use this uh, terminator. So inside this terminator, you can split this uh, terminal in uh, vertically. Then the left side, you can use that as Alice. The right side, you use that as a uh, Bob, right? So we need to CD into these uh, folders. Press Control F, then Control C, copy this address. So you can CD into Alice's folder. 
the left side. The right side, you see the two bubbles folder. So we need to CD to the parent folder, then go to Bob. So here you see the right side is Bob's terminal window. The left side is Alice's terminal window. Just like these are the two folders. Now for Alice, she first generate a pair of RSA private and public keys. How do we generate a pair of or I say private and public keys. We use the command gen or I say, right? Now maybe I split the window horizontally so we can see the whole command line. So maybe this way is better. Split horizontally and on this side, the bottom one is a bulb. The top one is uh, Alice. So Alice need to run open SSL, gen or SA, generate a uh, pair of public and private keys. How do we use this uh, syntax of gen or SA? We can use a dash help to see its uh, syntax. Here we dash out to follow by a file name, output the key to this uh, file. If you want to protect your private key with the password, with the, the encryption cipher, right? We can use the AES-128, this is a popular symmetrical cipher. Yeah, JOSA for the visit these arguments the number of bits, the number of bits, typical number of bits is uh, one kilobits, one zero to four bits. Uh, currently you are suggest to use uh, at least uh, 2048 bits in your real world application. So let's use uh, 2048 bits. So we use open SSL, gen OSA, followed by these options. We encrypt the private key with AES, 128, then we specify the output file as a alice.private, means alice's private key, and the number of bits to 0 0.8. So you enter a password to protect alice's password. So I will just type a, a simple password. Type it again. Okay, now I have uh, the primary key for Alice. How to generate the public key from this uh, primary key? We use a uh, RSA, right? Open SSL, RSA. We use this one. This RSA. We can specify pop out to output a public key. And also, how do we specify the, the input? The input file, just dash in, specify the input file. And also, we can specify do you want to uh, encrypt the output? We don't want to encrypt the public key, right? So we don't uh, add those uh, encryption options. So we can just do it like this, open SSL, OSA, input file is uh, Alice private key. And we want to output the public key, so the pop out. And uh, we want to save it here when you check that uh, out of, do we have a dash out? Yeah. We have a dash out for the output file then, right? So we dash out, Alice.pub. 
we need to uh, provide the key for the passphrase protect Alice's private key. Okay, now the public key is generated. We can use open SSL or SA to look from the components of this uh, private key and public key. This is a public, right? This is a public key. Dash text to show the components. So you can see this uh, public key and also you see the components, public key lens, the modules, because it's, it has two kilobits. So you can see the modulus is uh, quite low, right? And you can also see the public exponent. Similar way, you can also view the private key. So you can also view the that is private key. Now this time, because it's a private key, we remove this dash puppy. We don't want to show show out this part. So you can use a dash no out. Again, we need to type the password. Then you will see this is the Alice the components of Alice private key coefficient exponent two exponent one prime two prime one and the mod private exponent public as exponent modulus private key lens. So now we get a a pair of private key pub for Alice and protect the private key with. Uh, password known only by Alice. You can see yes folder, two files are generated. Since uh, I act both as Alice and Bob, so I also need to perform perform task one for Bob. If you have a classmate, then you only need to generate your own private kernel path. Uh, public key. So I would like to uh, complete task one, all the subtasks for Alice, then I will do the same task for Bob. Here, email uh, your public key to your partner. Here, the partner of Alice is uh, Bob. So Alice just a mimic. Send an email by copying this file, copying her public key to Bob. Right, then you will see inside Bob's folder, Alice public key is the same to Bob. Then Alice create a short message M. Here, we can use the echo followed by the message, the message from Alice to Bob. And saved in a file. This file, we use a simple name, M A to B, or M Alice to Bob, dot txt, this is a message. Or maybe we use a MSG to make it more readable. Okay, this uh, task one uh, is complete for this. For Alice, now we need to do it uh, also for Bob. We can just bring up the commands and copy them inside Bob's terminal window and then adapt some parameters. For example, we, we can also do it, do it like this, reversely. But if you have a partner, you still need to do it uh, in, sequen in sequence. Bob wouldn't create a message from Bob to Alice, right? And save this file name as mb2a.txt. 
message. Then Bob need to create a private key. Open SSL, Jane or SA, create private key, protect with the AES one to eight. And also need to uh, specify the output file name as Bob dot private, the key length to zero for eight bits. Now, Bob also need to supply a password known only to Bob. Here, at least four characters, so. Now, Bob generated his uh, private key, Bob.prep. He also need to generate his uh, public key with OpenSSL or SA-in is Bob's private key. Dash out Bob's public key and uh, dash pub out and we put this dash out here. And uh, Bob's private key password. Okay, uh, public key is generated. You can verify with cat bob.pub. Right, you see, end the public key and the beginning public key. And this is Bob's uh, public key. Bob also need to send, send his public key to Alice. If you have a classmate, you email your public key to your classmate. So Bob that just mimic this email process by copy his public key to Alice. So now inside these two folders, Bob has a pair of his private and public key and Alice's public key. And the message he constructed, the message he's, he is going to send to Alice. And Alice has a pair of his private and public key and a public key from Bob. And the message she is going to send to Bob. So this is a uh, task one. You have a classmate, you only need to do your part. Now for task two, Encrypt the inside. In this task, complete the following steps. There are five uh, sub steps. Encrypt M, the message, with your partner's public key and get the self text C. Again, uh, we will do a uh, Alice part first. Her partner is Bob, right? She need to uh, encrypt M with uh, Bob's public key and get the self tax uh, C. So maybe uh, we can write like this. How do we encrypt a message with a public key? We use a, we use a, or it's a util, right? Open SSL or it's a util. You can also check how to use this or it's a util. Encrypt, decrypt, encrypt with a public key, decrypt with a private key. And verify, here you see that verify. Verify with public key and sign with private key. Other options, you may check the manual for further information. Yeah, input file, output file, in key, pub in, and some other options, you can check the manual. Okay, now let's uh, encrypt this message 
Alice met with Bob's public key. So Alice run open SSL with OSA util encrypt, right? Encrypt. So she need to supply her private key. Oh, no, need to buy uh, Bob's uh, public key. This in key is used to supply the the key, right? Here, key is the input key. And uh, this is a public key. So she need to specify this is public. And uh, the file to be encrypted is the message she is going to send to uh, Bob. And the output file, Let's call it M A to B dot is a suffix. So let's call it a CIP. Okay, it's uh, encrypted. You can check the contents with a cat M A to B dot CIP. But it's uh, unreadable. You can use a hex stamp to see it's a uh, Finally, number. Now, on the second tab, encrypt then sign, right? The encrypt with uh, her partner's property and the sign with uh, her own private key. We know to sign a document, always use your private key. And only you possess your private key, so only you can uh, generate that uh, signature. So sign with uh, Alice's private key, choose this SHA-256 as the digest and get the signature S. How do we do this uh, signing? On Monday, we just learned how to do this signing, right? We use open SSL digest and followed by the hash algorithm short two file six and required here. Then need to uh, sign with her pri private key. So we need to supply that is private key. And the input file is this uh, encrypted message. And the output file is the signature. So we can call it M A to B dot C means the signature. So if uh, you forgot this uh, syntax, you can check uh, slice. You see, actually, uh, I, I made a mistake. I forgot the syntax, how to sign this one. Right, sign with a file, that file, sign digest using private key in file. So this is uh, sign followed by the private key. So which part I missed? I made a mistake. Unknown option dash in. So this uh, dash in is unknown. So which means that uh, input file, we need to put it at the end of this uh, command line. So when you check this uh, one, it's, a no, it's not that uh, clear. So you need to check this online document. So this input file, I need to put it at the end because there is no dash in. So the file is, is the encrypted file, zip. Okay, now supply Alice's uh, password, passphrase. So the signature is generated 
you can also use cat to have a look. But it's an unreadable. So there's the signature. Signed by Alice. Now Alice emailed both these encrypted messages and her signature to Bob. Right? So here we just use copy to mimic this uh, process. M A to B. One is the CIP file, the other one is the signature. Copy it to Bob. So now inside Bob's folder, Bob received the uh, uh, messages encrypted with his public key and signed with Alice's private key or contains Alice's signature. So here inside Bob's folder, you see that uh, two files, one is a message encrypted with Bob's public key, which means only Bob can decrypt this message. And there is a signature signed on this uh, encrypted message from Alice. Now, this S prime and C prime is uh, you receive from your partner. So, which means this S prime, C prime is from Bob. So, we need to connect to Bob's site to do the same task as Alice uh, has done. So, if you have a partner, you don't need to do this. So Bob need to, uh, again, to complete step one, two, and three. First one, encrypt the message with Alice's uh, public key, right? Open SSL. How do we do encrypt? We use a uh, OSA utl dash encrypt. And with a key, with the encrypt with the Alice public key. And we need to tell OpenSSL this is public key. And the file to be encrypted is the message MB2A. Bob sent to Alice B2A. And the output file is MB2A dot uh, CIP, the cipher text. Okay, now we have a uh, cipher text. This cipher text is, a, is the encrypted message Bob sent to Alice encrypted with uh, Alice's public key, which means only Alice can decrypt this uh, message. Nobody else can decrypt it. Now, Bob also need to sign this uh, message, open SSL, with, uh, how do we sign this one? With the digest, right? DJST and the head prism is a short to six. And uh, input the key file. There's no input, just in. The input is the, is the key file, is a Bob's private key. So you, you need to don't be confused with this one. This input is the input file, but here the input is the uh, private key, this is digest. So you can check the syntax, how to use it. Then followed by we also have need a sign, huh? dash sign. Oops, that in, we don't need in, with a dash sign followed by this uh, private key. So 
So this is for signature signed and generate the output is the signature m between dot seek. This signature is signed on the encrypted message CIP. So Bob need to provide his password to sign this message. Now it's signed with Bob's private key. Okay, Bob also need to send these two messages. One is the encrypted message, the other one is the signature sent to Alice. So again here, Bob also you just copy and between one is the signature, the other one is the subtext. Copy the to Alice. Okay, now Alice received this two files from Bob, and Bob also received uh, two files from Alice. And we switch back to Alice. Alice received uh, two files, m between a.cp and b seek. These two files she received from Bob. So if you work as a, with a, with, work with one of your classmates as your partner, you will receive the two files from the partner. Now, Alice first need to verify this signature. This signature is signed by Bob with Bob's uh, public key, right? Where this, this uh, signature is uh, signed by Bob on this uh, encrypted message, on this C prime, to check the authenticity and integrity. So how do we uh, verify a signature? Okay, we use uh, OpenSSL, DJST with the same uh, hash algorithm. This time we use a wildfire. Wildfire signature with your partner's uh, public key. So with Bob, Bob Pop. And the file to be wildfired, the signature to be wildfired. Do we need to supply a input is the signature? The sign uh, signature. The signature is M B to A dot seek, right? Do verify this signature on this uh, message sent from your partner dot CIP to see whether it, this is a valid signature. And you see it says verified okay which means this signature is signed by Bob and also this uh, message, encrypted message, is the integrity is assured. Now you decrypt this, uh, this message sent from your partner with your private key. Only you can decrypt this message. So Alice, you open SSL, I say, your tail to get that uh, message. If you want to decrypt, you need to supply the key, right? The key, supply your private key. You can only decrypt the message with your private key. So alice.prime. And the file is m between dot cip. You can also save this file or just let it output on this uh, terminal window. Here, if you let the uh, output on this terminal window, you, you need to supply your password first, Alice. Then you see this uh, decrypted message, message from Bob to Alice. So I, I made a, a typo. That is from uh, Bob to Alice. In box window, let's see whether I made a typo there. You can uh, modify that mb2a dot 
messaging, right? This is the original messaging. This original message is message from bot to Alice. So I made a typo. Bob made a typo here. Oh, this, uh, this part. Task two. Now for task three, you only need to uh, reverse the order signing and encrypting. So I will not demonstrate task two and task three because all the com commands you, you're going to use is exactly as I demonstrated here. You only need to inverse or reverse the order of signing and encrypting. Here in task three, we sign the message first, sign the message with your private key first to get a signature. Then you encrypt the message with your partner's public key and get the self tag C and email both the self tag the, the message to your partner. So I suggest you uh, create two folders, one folder for task one and two, uh, for task two, one folder for task two, and the other folder for task three. Otherwise, you may uh, mess them up. Here, we know how to do the encrypt, how to sign a message, and uh, email both the subtax and signature to your partner. And also decrypt this uh, subtax you received from your partner with your key and get the message, right? Then you verify this uh, signature you received with your partner's uh, public key against, pay attention against this uh, message. In this case, in task two, you verify this uh, signature against the encrypted message. Here in this task three, you verify the signature against this uh, original message because you sign the original message to get this signature. That's why you verify your signature against this uh, original message. to check the authenticity and the integrity. So this is task three. Now, the last task, task four, comparison. Answer the following four questions and justify your solution. Here's the first one. Can encrypt the sign to assure integrity, authenticity, non-repudiation, and confidentiality? Two, can this, uh, the second one, sign the encrypt, assure integrity, authenticity, non repudiation and confidentiality? Three, can the sender be spoofed by the receiver in this encrypt and sign? Question four, can the sender be spoofed by the receiver in sign the encrypt? How do you answer this question? Confidentiality, which means it's encrypt. Besides you and your partner, no one can get the original message. Do you think uh, anyone else can uh, read your original message? Since you only email the signature and uh, your self text through the public uh, network, suppose a hacker or attacker intercept your encrypted message, can he or she decrypt that one? No, right? Only the partner with the private key can decrypt that message. So confidentiality is assured. Whether integrity is assured. You sign the signature, you sign on the hash code. And when you verify your signature, the hash code is also verified. So integrity is guaranteed, is assured. How about authenticity? Authenticity, which means you can verify the source of the message. 
you can verify the signature and that signature is signed by the sender. So this authenticity is also assured. How about non-repudiation? Non-repudiation means the sender cannot deny sending that message to you because that message contains the sender's signature. So the sender cannot deny he or she send that message. So non-repudiation is also assured. Now for questions three and four, how do we answer these two questions? Can the sender be spoofed by the receiver? Which means the receiver just claim he or she is the sender or is you. For example, you send a message and the signature, the include message and the signature to your friend. And your friend can uh, claim whether he or she can claim that the message is sent from, sent from you, spoofed by the receiver. It, it means the receiver impersonate you. Can he or she impersonate you? For example, he said this message is actually a great. I himself or herself not not that way by by you but he may uh, modify something this spoof means impersonate right when the receiver can impersonate the sender so how do you answer this question? That is a reference you may check. It contains the answer to questions three and four. Is it inside one of these uh, reference? Is inside this uh, second uh, round, other rounds you may have a look. So when you prove or justify your solution, You may read this uh, article and provide some diagrams like this. Here are two possibilities, sign then encrypt and encrypt then sign. However, the crypto system based on sign then encrypt can be exploited by the receiver to spoof identity of the of sender and send that data to third party. This is sign the encrypt. So how do you justify? Here is depicted here, here. So we can do it by yourself. Here the sender side, the receiver side, the data is encryption is encrypted using the receiver's public key to get this encrypted uh, data, the encrypted message. Then to, to sign it, generate a hash fun through hash function to get a hash and the hash is assigned with the sender's private key, right? With the sender's private key. You get this uh, digital signature and the, these two are sent to the receiver. And the receiver, after receiving the encrypted data and the signature on it, first verifies the signature using the sender's public key, certainly it's verified okay. After ensuring the val validity of the signature, he then 
retrieve the data through decryption using his private Now this can be retrieved, right? Because this one is only uh, encrypted with the receiver's public key. So how does he or she to impersonate this sender? He or she can send the data to a third party to impersonate you. Now you need to answer in the, in the other case, encrypt then sign why he or she cannot, imp, imp, uh, cannot impersonate the sender or spoof the sender. Okay, you need to go through this uh, article carefully and think about it. So this uh, whole uh, lab, lab 07. Any uh, questions?